Hello and welcome to Monkeys with Fire. How is everybody doing tonight? Hope you're all well. Say hello in the chat. Tell us what your day's been like. Have you uh, had opportunity to uh, play any games? Getting ready for the weekend? Let us know. So then, what are we doing tonight? We are going to have a special game of Kiwi Chowdown from Draco Studios. This game is currently on Kickstarter. It was funded within an hour <laughs> of the campaign launching. Uh, it, this looks like an adorable game, but uh, we'll we'll play it and we'll, we'll see what we think by the end. Uh, I'll uh, obviously do my best to uh, to share with you all of the rules as we play through. And uh, if you have any questions, just uh, type them out in the chat and we will try and answer them uh, as we play. So, uh, Sarah, are you, uh, are you all set and ready? Because we, we might as well, we'll jump straight on in. Yes, you're good. All right, let's uh, unmute the mic then. Hello, hello. Good evening, Sarah. How are you? Hello. Been a little better, but let's let's explode some kiwis. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness me. So, do you think that uh, you're reasonably familiar with the rules? Then you think you've got a good grasp on it? Don't have three. <laughs> don't have don't have free yes but maybe you want free but anyway we'll we'll explain that uh, as we go through we uh, yeah. jump to the table i watched but i'm still i think that was the main thing that stuck with me other than how cute it looked but i feel it almost reminded me of like dwarf's fall and some of those other ones we've played right okay with yes yes i mean at its core, this is an area control game. What we're trying to do is create dominance of our particular Kiwis, uh, depending on the circumstances for that particular round, uh, which we'll mm -hmm. go to, into in a second. Um, so the more Kiwis that you have in a section, 
Uh, obviously, if, as long as you're greater than your opponent, you kind of dominate that section. And of course, if that is a scoring section, then uh, that's how you're going to get your points, aren't you? So let's uh, let's walk through this. So the first thing is let's <laughs> let's take a look at uh, the miniatures because the miniatures. The important are... question. <laughs> I, I, I'm just looking across at the chat, and, and yes, you are purple. Of course, you're purple. <laughs> when there is a choice of purple, it's always you. When there's a choice of red, it's going to be me. It's as simple as that, isn't it? Um, so what we have here is we have some absolutely gorgeous uh, character miniatures of the Kiwi bosses. Now, uh, obviously... Everything that's set out in front of us here is a prototype of the game. Uh, Draco Studios was very kind to send this through to us so we could uh, take a look, uh, obviously, in advance. Uh, so components will, will, will change, artwork might change, rules might change. We've, that's obviously the caveat uh, to this. So these are 3D printed uh, miniatures. Uh, I've got to then sort of see who, if I can recognize them, haven't I? So... This is, the, this is the obvious one. So this this one is Scully, uh, who has this wonderful sort of skull dinosaur mask on with this kiwi sort of <laughs> underneath it. It's like a Halloween costume. It's brilliant. Uh, <laughs> so, so that's Scully. Let's These see. These need to be painted. Oh my goodness, they do indeed. They do indeed. Even this... if you just did like cute solid color painting. It's, they're so cartoon-like that, yes, that's exactly uh, the type of style it should go for. So this one is, uh, this is Burbus. So it's basically a kiwi riding a crab. It has a starfish on its butt. And, and, and there's a star, yeah, yeah. I mean, oh my goodness, right? So that's that one. All right. We'll, so we'll, when you're done playing this game, you're sending me these minis, what? Uh, well, yeah, who knows? Who knows? Uh, <laughs> I, and then I'm you say yes, as long as you send them back painted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think this one is Zen. I'm going to say, I'm going to say that one's Zen. Or may, maybe it's not. No, it's not. No, this is Chopin. There we go. So this one's Chopin. Again, you're looking for the long beak to sort of identify that that is the uh, is the front of the of the kiwi. <laughs> I never thought that kiwi fruit might have actually got its name from looking like the birds. Is that the case? I, I it, it could be. I don't know. There we go. That's why I get well, it wrong. Well, now I have to do research. We've got to do research on it, haven't we? Yeah. Um, this is Zen. So these are the four bosses. So what I'm going to do is I will shuffle these cards and give us each a boss because that will help to start off with. These are just here, these miniatures. These represent the various nests. And I believe in the Kickstarter, you get a whole load of these. So as opposed to... Um, necessarily putting out your tokens uh -huh. and put out miniatures. So we got some nests there, but we'll put them to one side for the time being. You weren't that wrong. It's called kiwi fruit because it's their eggs. Being of Chinese origin, kiwi fruit originally had a Chinese name, Yang Tao. Gooseberries, uh oh, my phone said, nope, you're done reading. Gooseberries not being the most popular fruit in 1959, it was decided to change the name to kiwi fruit after N New Zealand's national bird. Oh, there we go. See, see. So that's going to be your boss. That's According to this boss. site. Let's see who you are. You're Scully. Okay, so when you do a of move, I am. <laughs> when you do a move action, you are able to use Scully's special power. Now, if you remember, you can only use your boss's special power once per season, and of course, there are four seasons in the game. So, your special power is move Scully up to three hexes, push up to three Kiwi tokens, size two or smaller, from the square you move to up to three hexes in any direction. Push up to three kiwis. So push up to three kiwis of size two or smaller 
from mm-hmm. the square you move to. So it's where you so you you can you move him up to three hexes. Wherever you land, you then push three Kiwi tokens from the square you move to up to three hexes in any direction. All right, so that's quite cool. So you're okay. Scully, and I've got to work out now. Let me just look at the book. The book here. I would get the skull. So, that's exciting. So you are Scully, and that's where Scully is, right at the top there. Who am I? I am Chopin. So again, while uh, you when you do a move action, you're able to use uh, your leader's uh, special ability. So move Chopin up to four hexes in a straight line. Push all Kiwi tokens on all hexes Chopin move through, except the starting and end hexes. Oh, wow, that's quite cool. So he's a bit of a sort of, um, I don't know, he's a, a bit of a tank, isn't he? Just blasting his way through. Uh, good evening, detestable games. What is that? Welcome, what does a kiwi tank sound like? What does a what, sorry? What does a kiwi tank sound like? I, I, I will work out an appropriate sound by the Do time... Do we know what a kiwi even sounds like? I don't. Oh no, we should have, we should have found I'll out. Look it we? up! <laughs> look it up. We're, we're doing lots of research tonight, aren't we? So there we go. So Chopin goes in there. Let's put those here, because we want them to look pretty. Alright. So we have our, our leaders done. We then want to randomize the season cards because this tells us what our sort of objective is per season so let's just lay these out on there one here here and here oops go would you like to hear the sound of a kiwi bird while you put out the cards oh go on then go on you've got to it just squeals Oh, we heard it. We heard it. Was that a kiwi bird? According to this, it was. You, you, see, you see, we're, we're being entertaining and informative tonight. Educa- <laughs> Caution, tonight's game may include educational facts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... The first... I don't know. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> so then, the first... Um... I'm sorry. <laughs> We're kind of losing it already. Let me get this right. So the first season card, yes, season card, is we want to have more Kiwis in... So we want to have the dominance in the pink areas. Let me just make sure that is correct. Uh, have the most Kiwi tokens uh, on flower hexes. There we go. This is for me or for... It's for both of us. This is something for us to both sort of fight over. Right? Oh, okay. Cause, cause so what's that's what happen... these cards are up here. Okay. Yes. So what's going to happen is the person who has the most Kiwis in the flower hexes will receive a, uh, a dominance... Sorry, it's a season marker, which is what we want. Hang on, it's not a season marker. Hang on, am I getting it right? I want to try and use the right names. Also, domain marker. Sorry, a, domain if marker. If you have a tall kiwi, a tall kiwi counts just as much as a short kiwi. It does. Yes, yes, it does. Yes, quite right. Oh, good, you got you caught that one. Uh, so, <laughs> so person who has the most gets a uh, a domain marker. The second person. Uh, gets a random fruit. Okay. Gain one fruit. So that's what we're aiming to. So essentially, you want to try and get as many of your Kiwis into the pink area. Oh gosh, that means everyone's got to move up, up the board. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, We'll shuffle your cards because you start off with three cards. One, two, three. We'll put those just there. So my special move, it allows me to move up to three spaces, but then uh, I can only push the Kiwis that are in that space? Yes. Okay, in, okay, okay, okay. In the space that you've moved to. Okay, right. okay. Um, how do you want to do this? Do you want to start or do you want me to start? 
You can start. You can start. Okay. So that being no, the case, you can start. Right. You're gonna be second player. I'm gonna be first player. Yeah. I I get the adorable Kiwi first player marker, which is awesome. We'll put that Aww. just there. And that tells me. Let's have a look. So you're gonna get six random fruit and two domain markers. So let me just make sure I've got here. Okay. So we have a nice big old bag here, and we're gonna take out six fruit. I might have to move this up slightly so that you can uh, you can see your fruit. So we go. There you go. There's, there's six fruit. Look at that. Perfect. I'll do the same. And just go in here, grab out. We almost out of my game day candy. Let's just see what we've got here. Is that six? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Six. We'll put that in the bag. Oh, actually, I, I should have five mm -hmm. because since you're the second player, you get yeah, I should get something bonus. extra. Yeah. 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 All right, and let's go into the blue bag now. Give a bit of a shake. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two out. I'm going to show you because this is uh, kind of secret information. And of course, we can't, in some aspects, we can't do it all the time. Uh, but we'll give this a go. This, of course, if you remember, so when we get to the final stage of the first season, Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to get to put down one domain marker. Uh, okay. So, so yeah, during the uh, oh, let me just make sure I'm getting the right part in the book here. Oh, it's at the front. There we go. Domain marker. So, so, so uh, domain marking during this phase, each player places one domain marker on the map in turn order. And to place the marker, you must choose a hex without a current domain marker, where a combination of your Kiwi tokens and your control nests, if present, outnumber those of all other players. Okay? The thing is, of course, you've got to have the domain marker to be able to place it there. So it's kind of you want to... It's going to be hidden to you because I'm not going to know what you're trying to achieve. And of course... To win the game, it's counting up these domain markers. These are what are going to determine who the actual overall winner is going to be. And those are what we do with, like, the I have the most on the pink, so I get a domain marker. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yes. All right, so I'm going to show you this. So this, you want to take a note that these are the territories. Hopefully you can see those. These are the territories that you're able to place down these markers. Okay. All right. So let's put those back down and we'll put them just there. So you have two. Uh, and I'm going to have two as well. Uh, now, when does it get decided that I get to put those down? Only if I win one of those top cards or? No, no. At the at the end, once we've played all three of our cards, we will we basically move our... We're going to be moving the tracker along. So first of all, we're going to go start playing cards. Then we're going to look for who has... Uh, dominance on the board, and then we're going to uh, put down our markers. Okay, right, so I can see what I've got. So let me just go through. So here we go. So the way that we've got four seasons to the game, and each season is split up into uh, season change, then our actions, then the season card resolution, and then domain marking. All right. So for this first uh, turn. We don't need to do anything with the season change. We'll come back to that. All right. So we're going to go to the second phase, which is actions. So this is in turn we play a card from our hand, placing it face up at the top. I'll have to just. Uh, I don't think I've got much room, have I? Let's see if I move that down a little bit. There we go. I will try and put it on in here. Um, we're going to play a card, we'll essentially do what is on the card, and of course, you're trying to uh, maximise, knowing that this is the goal that we are trying to achieve in this first season. So let's uh, let's just get started. And I'll actually show you my hand uh, to start so off with. So it's 
we're just trying to each win that first card, or are we each trying to win one of the four? Uh, it's no, because it's just, just for season one. It's just for season one, so it's the first card. Two. Okay. Okay, so ultimately... Okay. And then we'll explain the second one for season two. Got it. Exactly, yeah. We'll wait till we get there. Cool. Sorry. Exactly. All right, so let's take a look at the cards that I have. And we both have the same cards, but of course, uh, they've been randomly shuffled, and we will get to see uh, which uh, come out at any, at any given time. So I have a build card, I have a move card, and I have a feed card. So I have essentially the, the three main cards. The fourth type of card is the wild card. Uh, and with the wild card, let me just make sure I get this correct. Uh, so playing a wild card, uh, you can either play it as an action card, hence one of these, or you're able to acquire the resources that are indicated on the card. So what do I want to do? I want to move. I think we're going to start with that. So I'm going to place my move card just under here. And I am able to move two Kiwis, but it's got to be two separate Kiwis. So you can't move one Kiwi twice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this Kiwi just over there. And I'm going to move... Oh, let's move. Should we move that one? Yeah, we'll move that one. I'm going to move that Kiwi just over there. And they've gone into empty spaces. So that being the case, there's been no effect to any other Kiwis uh, that were in there. So that's quite a quite an easy sort of move uh, to start off with. And I draw up a new card and add it to my hand. So I've, you've always got three cards. And it now goes over to you to play your first card. So let's take a look and see what cards you've got. Uh, all right, well, here we go. So you have a feed card. You have two wild cards. So as I explained, you can either play the wild card as one of the other actions, so hence a feed or a build or a or a move, just like I've done, or you can take the resources. Now, uh, let's get this right. I can I can guess this one is that you get to pick, is that four, four fruits from the bag? So actually, okay, I'll do that. Uh, have an action or gain four fruits, and then the I'll other one... I'll take four fruits. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to explain this card so you know, you know. So this is gain one fruit, one kiwi token, and increase the size of one kiwi. Oh, I get to do that all in one go? Yes. So I get to move, I get a fruit, no. and I get to no, feed? No, 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 no. It's either an action, which could be a move, or the alternative is you gain one fruit, you gain a kiwi token, and you increase the size of a kiwi. So you I want take... to do that instead. Yeah, see? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll put your cards down there. You're going to You don't do know that. what I want before I do? Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> so we're going to put that just there. So you're going to gain a fruit. Gain a fruit. So in the bag. And we take that out. You have a blue fruit. Okay, so that's the first part. You're then able to add a kiwi token onto the board. So we're going to take it from the top of your flock board here. Uh, where do you want your kiwi to go? Can I put it into one of the areas that you have, somebody? Yes, I, I, I think so, yes. Um, it doesn't say that you have to put... I'm just now thinking. then, does the markers that you gave, the domain markers, we can only put that down if we get that first card, or we can only, or we can put it down. We just have to meet the condition of having the most kiwis no, no, in that color. No, no, no. Just, just so you're aware, this card, the reward is a domain marker, okay? But the conditions uh... to put, to, to put, <laughs> does it click? The no, domain okay. marker there is whatever the domain marker says. Yes. Okay. So if it was so... purple, I would have to have the most kiwis in the purple areas yes, absolutely. to put down a domain marker. No, 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 no. This, 
this particular reward, if this is essentially a reward. No, I don't want that reward. I want to know how I get to put Right. So once my... we, So here we go. So we're going to watch this tracker, and eventually we're going to get to the very final section mm -hmm. on the tracker. And at that moment, each of us, first player and then, then second player, are able to place down one of their domain markers that they have, that they've already acquired, and they can place it down anywhere on the board so long as they meet the conditions of what placing a domain marker requires, which is... And I'll just go through it again just so it's clear with you. So... So you choose a hex without a domain marker where a combination of your Kiwi tokens and your control nest outnumber those of all other players. And you must have at least one unused domain marker next to your flop board with the symbol matching it. All right? So you're going to be looking on your on the board to see that do you have a hex that matches the symbol on your mm -hmm. domain marker that has more Kiwis than the, your opponent. And that's the Oh, so condition. it doesn't have to be all of the colors. It could just be that one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh, okay. It, and I don't need to have my little gray guy on it. No. Oh, no. No. Okay. So long as you've got more Kiwis on that hex than, you, than your, the opponent, and you have the, the correct color on this marker, you can put it down. That's it. Right, then. Well, let's take my Kiwi. So you can take one Kiwi, so you're going to take one here. Where are you going to place it? <laughs> can I put it in a pink one with you, or is that going to yes. trigger something? No, you can, you can put it in. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, Let's I, put it in that left that left pink one. You just put one in. Okay, there we go. And then, Let's come for a visit. Okay, and then you are able to increase the size of one of your Kiwis that one that i just the, put down the same one okay yeah i'm gonna intimidate you yeah well, most definitely e e <laughs> are you doing sound effects of, of the kiwi now yeah okay <laughs> see we've been so educated you were able to recognize the sound of a kiwi <laughs> <laughs> okay so that should go just on you're this. like uh-huh yeah that's happening this game isn't it and i'm just like yes <laughs> Oh goodness me! It's gonna be one of those nights. All what right. are these tokens made out of? The I know that you said the figures are three D printed, but what are the tokens? Are they just plastic or? Uh, they're wooden. The wood little wood tokens. Oh, but 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 of course, all of this you know is all prototype. Oh, so they're it, thick too. Ooh. So it, it it will be different in the final uh, final. Oh version. well, it looks real nice now. <laughs> Oh yeah, no. Uh, uh, some prototypes usually look really, really, really good. Uh, and of course, while we're playing, if anybody wants to check out the campaign, exclamation Kickstarter, that will give you the various links to various Kickstarter campaigns. For this particular one, it is exclamation KS underscore Kiwi Chowdown. Go and uh, check it all out. As I say, the game funded within an hour. Um, so it's all about stretch goals there now, we isn't go. it, I guess? It is in the chat. <laughs> oh, excellent. Thank you. Right. So You're over welcome. to me. Let's see what... So I have a wild card. I actually now, adding to uh, to my set, I have... Hi, Roger. Exactly the same as you. I have my feed and I have a build. I'm going to do... I'm going to do a feed. And... How can I? Now, do you get to keep this game? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh. Um, what do I want to do a feed? I do because it's do a cute. Feed. What if we want to play again? <laughs> we'll we'll sort something out. So let's take that and I'm the going to art on the card. I'm going to play. I don't think you held it up to the there. screen long enough. Did I not for the for the feeding? No. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, the art on it. It is adorable, isn't it? <laughs> it is so, so cool. Okay, thank you. You happy? You happy? <laughs> Look at its little wing. <laughs> All right, and I draw up another card. Okay, I'm done. Over to you. 
I hope they keep this art. Oh, oh yeah, I, I can well imagine it is, yes. yes. It'll only be little tweaks. Y you have to show me my cards. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, and you need a, you need an extra card as well. So you have a feed, you have the wild card where you would get uh, four fruit, and you have a build. So this is the opportunity of being able to put down one of your nests, and nests provide you bonuses as well. Uh, and also they count as uh, an actual kiwi when you're counting up. Um, first one. So you want to do a feed? We have to go in order, right? No, 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 of my um, nests. Oh, right, okay. So you can choose any nest, but you're doing it at the first level. And what this requires is it requires two of the same type of fruit. Oh, you're, you're fine. You've got plenty of fruit, haven't you? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Do I have to pick them up in order? So I have to pick from the first row, the nope. second row, and then the third row? No. Well, well no. so this, there's, there's uh, co three columns, but there's only two uh -huh. rows. Yes. So yeah. all of these are the first level of a building, and they require two fruit of the same color. And they will give you a certain level of bonuses. Once you've built this first one, you could then build the second one in another turn. But you've got yeah, to I'll do build the, the first, first one. one. All right, so you're going to do a build action. All right, let's uh, let's go. Through. Let's do it. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? We're learning. Exactly. So, uh, which fruit do you want to use to build? Is that nailed to his head? <laughs> is the uh, uh, yes? It, yes, that it is. Board nailed to his. <laughs> He, 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 he's, he's not a particularly effective builder. <laughs> oh, they're special birds, aren't they? They're very special. Very special. All right, let's take uh, two of my kiwi-looking kiwis, the green ones, I guess. The green ones, all right. Kiwi kiwis, right, okay. Make sure it goes in the right bag. Oh, no, you just took away the blue. Oh, sorry. I want the green or whatever I have four of. Okay, hang on. In case, because something might call for a particular color, right? Uh, yeah, there's a possibility. Uh, there we go. So these then are... let's take away what I have the most of then. Right. These, these are green, so you're going to take away the yellows. There we go. Oh, okay. Sorry. It looked... So, yes, yeah, all right. Greenish on... Right. Let's, let's explain. Let's explain. So here we go. So playing a build card. Uh, pick one hex without a nest where you have at least two Kiwi tokens where a combination of your Kiwi tokens outnumber those of all of them. So you've got to have at least two, and you've got to outnumber another player. Yeah, I do that. Uh, There's that green section. I'm all by myself. Green section all by yourself. Yeah, on the left-hand side, there's two purple Kiwis in the green. They're just piddle-paddling around all oh, by yes. themselves. These ones here. Yes, yes, yes. That's yeah. True. Yes, okay, so there you go. Um, so you choose the nest. So do you want to go for... So this is the tree nest. What uh, is the bonus for it? Okay, so on the season change, you will gain two fruits. So every time we have a season change... So this is when we get to move through. Right. So actually, it's the beginning of the next round, you will get two fruits. But on the okay. placement, when as soon as you put this down, you're going to gain one fruit. Okay. Is that what you want to go for? Yeah, is that the only yeah, that's the only one yeah. I can go for, isn't it? No, you can go for any of the top in the top level. What is the other um okay. bonuses? So the, because I, it's just hard for me to see. Sure. So the next one is your control nest. So here we go. On the season change, you will gain one fruit and increase the size of one kiwi token. Of, you, of, of yours. Of yours. That's important because oh. of course. Because of course. <laughs> There's something else we can do, isn't there, yeah? And then the yeah. next one is the cave. Uh, oh, sorry. And on placement, you gain one movement by doing the control. On the cave, you gain one fruit and place one kiwi token. That's when we do the season change. But as soon as you put it down, you get to place one kiwi token. Go with... Let's go with the third one. The cave. You want to go with the cave? Okay, where do you want to put the cave down? It's going in with my green one. Green one? It's going in yeah. just there, isn't it? Okay. So yeah. that being the case, 
you now receive, you are able to now place one Kiwi token. So, where do you want to place a Kiwi? Let's place it in the space above that space, in that pink one, space. next to my tall boy. Your tall boy, okay. So you put one in there, you've revealed a bonus. You get to have a fruit. A fruit, a fruit. So in the bag, you take out, you have a blue fruit. A blue fruit, a blue fruit. <laughs> okay. There we go. So you've done you've done some building. This of course counts as one kiwi. So for dominance, you have three kiwi in that particular hex. All right, not doing too. Oh, badly. okay. Not doing too badly. Uh, you've got two cards. Drawing up a new card, you get an additional build card. All right, so that's in there. What am I going to do? Hmm. I am going Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Because we're very, we're very close to the end of this first round, aren't we? I'm going to use a wild card. So I'm going to put that in just in there. And I'm going to use the wild card as movement. And I'm going to do this to sort of show an example, I think. So hopefully I'm going to get this right. So... Here we go. I'm going to move. I'm going to move this Kiwi into here. That's one Kiwi moved. And I'm going to move this Kiwi into here as well. Now, we haven't experienced this. He's a level two Kiwi. And... Bigger Kiwis or at a higher level are able to push other Kiwis. So when one of your tokens ends its movement, you may choose to push up to two smaller Kiwis, including your own, from the hex you landed on to any adjacent hex of your choice. So I can now... I can push up to two. I'm going to push your Kiwi off the board. And so what happens, this Kiwi now goes into your reserve. So we just leave it there. All right. So that's one that I've moved out. I can't push your two because we're of equal sort of size, aren't we? But I could push one of my Kiwi. Do I want to do that? Because it might be advantageous to me. No, I'm actually not. I'm going to just leave it at that. All right, there you go. That was my turn. Over to you. Um. Good evening, Roger. Welcome. I need to see my cards. You do, you don't. I'm sorry. I keep, I keep on forgetting. What is, you, you should yeah. be looking yourself. Right. So there we go. You have. A feed. Yeah, you're like you just tell me what you want to do, and I'm like, uh. So, so you have a feed. You have a wild card, which would get, uh, either you do an ordinary uh, action or you pick up four fruit, and you have a build action. Could build a level two. Uh, you could build a level two cave if that's what you wanted. Again, you need to have. Well, ah, but hang on a second. Well, you can you, actually you can. So here we go. Uh, you would have to have three fruit of the same colour. Well, you only have oh. twos of everything. But, hopefully I'm correct on this. Uh, hang on a second. I thought I saw that you could use one of your domain markers as a wild card. 
Oh, no, 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 it's fine. Let me look at my choices again. <laughs> okay. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that's the case. No, that's all right. Just let me look at those choices again. I'm just trying to find the rule. Is that uh, Gabo there? Thank yes, it is so beautiful. The art style is so comical. So, so comical. It is. It's Let's lovely. feed. You want to feed? You want to feed? All right. Do I get to feed one or two? Uh, one. I'll, just, I'll double check, but I think it's okay. one because, again, the way that the game works is it, it absolutely tells you visually what you need to do. So let me just uh, double check. Uh, pick the kiwi you want to feed, and you may feed a kiwi from an opposing flock, but you may not feed your leader. You pay two different coloured uh, fruit. So in fact, actually, here we go. Here is all the rules on feeding. So it is uh, two different coloured fruit. Uh, the owner of the fed kiwi takes a kiwi token from their flock board, or from their reserve, if the player doesn't right. So you have a kiwi in reserve. Uh, and place it on top of their fed. Whoever played the feed kiwi card takes a domain marker from the blue bag. So one marker if they fed their own kiwi, or two markers if they fed an opponent. So there we go. Remember, it's these domain markers that are going to ultimately Feeding score, your kiwi. You, score you points. You want to feed my kiwi? Yeah. So... Now that's an interesting thing here. So do I take, I think I must take a marker. Uh, detestable games, are you, are you still with us? Because maybe you can answer this question for me. Feed your kiwi that just kicked out my kiwi. Well, I'm, I'm trying. I want to find out. I want to find out. Is it? Do I do I take it from my flock board or do I take it from? I think I take it from my flock board. Uh, it doesn't say in the rule book. That's what I'm just double checking. I think it's going to be the board, but I don't think I get the bonus for it because. Because that's not the sort of, it's not the benefit, is it? Oh, here we go. No, no, I don't think so. Hello, det okay, so Detestable Games. So, um, from the flock board, thank you very much, but I don't get the bonus, do I? Okay, so... Sarah, which which kiwi are you going to put uh, feed? You heard me. The oh, sorry, one I, that I, pushed out mine. So you mean the two? So you're gonna you were making, Yeah, your bully bird. The bully bird. So he's big and fat. <laughs> now, chat, you might be wondering, but why would you want to make his bird even bigger? Well, let's just say kiwis can't eat more than three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you're you're so mean. You're so mean. Okay, so because you fed, you said after you kicked me off of the tile. Well, this is true. So, <laughs> so because you fed my kiwi, mm -hmm. you get. Do I have to pay. No, no. Well, first of all, you have to pay, and it's got to be two different uh, fruits. So decide a which. A green two and fruits. a yellow. Green and a yellow. So that's those two there. So we've those in the back. It was but just you, to prove to you that I know what the colors are now. Yes, yes. <laughs> but you get you get now two domain two. two because of it. So here we go. Put those up there. Don't look. I'm not looking. Okay. All right. So these are. We can the, put down more than one domain if we meet the. Right. So so hang. Okay. Hang, no, no. Hang on. Hang on. So in the first round, you only get to put down one. And that's the same oh, okay. all the way through to the third round. On the fourth round, you are able to put down as many domain tokens as you're able to do so following the rules. 
But getting right. extra is good anyways, because you Get. can use them as currency. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so, okay. So that, that, that's another quick question then, Detestable Games. Um, can You can use the domain tokens as sort of a wild card for fruit. Am I correct in that? For any for like for your built for your building or um... you're a wild card in fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just double check on that. So that then should bring us to the end of the action phase. Okay. You like my game trash talking, don't you? <laughs> oh, oh yes, yes, you're so mean. All right. So here we go. So once the action phase is finished, review the objective in the current season card. So here we go. So this is now we're going to take a look at this card. This is what our conditions are. And it is the person uh, who has the most Kiwi tokens on flower hexes. All right. I, I think that this is, uh, it, it is quite obvious, isn't it? Yeah. So I've got one here. Me. I've got, I've got three in here. <laughs> I've got three in here, so I do have the dominance on this. So I get to have a domain uh, token, and you are going to get a a, um, a food, a, a fruit, a fruit, fruit, fruit. So let's give you the fruit first. You can have the fruit. That's nice and easy. So there you go. You get a blue fruit, blue fruit. I get to have a domain token. I'm just saying what that is. Okay, very good. Right. So we've done now the uh, season card resolution. So we discard that. And then now we go into the final. So I should be moving this along. So we've, we've moved, we've done all our actions. We have now just done the season card resolution. We then move this along to the final section, which is domain marking. So this is now the important part. This is really where the crux uh, are of the game is. This is how we get points. So during this phase, each player places one domain marker on the map in turn order. So to place one marker, you must... I better take a look at what my markers are, don't I? Okay. So choose a hex without a domain marker, which is fine at this moment in time. Um, where a combination of your Kiwi tokens and your control nests, if present, outnumber those of all other players individually. All right, and you must have at least one unused domain marker next to your flock board with the correct symbol on it. Okay. So if you can fulfill the above requirements, you may place the unused domain marker on the chosen hex. Take one Kiwi token from your reserve or the map if necessary. So that would be the case for me. You do have a reserve. And you place it on top. So I'm going to take a look here. And... Okay, well, it's going to be very easy for me to place... I can place that marker just there. Um, because it is flower. I have the most kiwis a bird on it. in there. So I now have to put a bird <laughs> on that marker. I don't have any on reserve, so I take one off the map. And you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take him. So potentially now. I have one point. There we go. Over to you. Now, so, you can't look at them, but you can hold one up and I'll tell you if it's the right one. Okay. And then All you right. can look at it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no cheating. I'm not cheating. Yep, it's right. You picked up the right one. Did I pick the right one up? Okay, so I'm looking yeah. at that. So this is so this is grass. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, where are you? I, I, are you putting it on here or on here? I mean, I have multiple places, but yes. uh, let's go ahead and put it with my nest. With the nest, okay. So you're gonna put the grass in just there. And which kiwi? Bring my kiwi back into the game that you kicked out. Exactly, okay. Because so you that... kick birds, apparently. Oh, absolutely. Well, they, well, they, they, they sort of squawk and fly. Said, oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, <All right. laughs> 
Rude. Rude, rude. Okay, so there we go. So now, now that we have these domain markers in these hexes, it means that we can't place any others in those hexes. We're actually going to have limited spaces to be able to put down uh, point scoring markers. And of course, depending on what markers you've got, determines where you can go on the board. Question? See, oh yeah, go, go ahead. So when you did your first move of the two separate Kiwis that you moved, yep. does that mean that you had to pay four Kiwis? Oh, hey, that's a really good point. Because <gasps> you made me pay to feed. Yes, you know, but again, it's laid out. Oh my goodness me. Uh, you are absolutely right. Oh, oh, bad monkey. Yeah. I mean, you do have the right amount of kiwis to pay for it. No, but... I, no, well, no, no, because, because if you look at, well, the, there is symbols to tell you exactly what type of uh, kiwis uh, you can, you need to actually do oh, that. Oh, so movement. you were only supposed to have moved one, one kiwi? No, no, no. I, you have to to move. So in fact, actually, we we missed this. Good, good call. But so we will we'll correct this now for the, for the next round. Um, to move, you need to spend a yellow. So it's sort of like the star. Sorry. Well, I don't know what's yeah, what it. Moved to, anybody yet? You haven't moved any, but I did, and I need to do yellow and blue, whereas you would do yellow and green. Oh, so, in, so you should you should get rid of some of your kiwis then. Well. Not no, necessarily I... four, but get rid of like two of them. <laughs> yeah. Because that's four free kiwi fruits that you get to keep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take away two. I'll give you a discount because we're new to this. Oh. So hang on a second. So let me just double check here. Or does the card give you free movements, but if you don't want to use any of your cards, you can pay to do those items. That, that's what I was just, just thinking. Because so... if that's the case, then give me back my Kiwis. <laughs> uh, well, no, you, you absolutely need, you needed to spend Kiwis to feed and you need to spend Kiwis to build. So detestable games, sorry, I'm going to come out and ask you again. Do you, ha you have to spend key actual fruit to move? I think you I on think your you card. Do. Yeah, but you would if you have to do it to feed, because you made yes. me pay to feed. Yes, I think I think that's the case. Yeah, it does say or, that you you, you or can. Or is the cards free? But if you don't do any of your card actions and you choose to do the board instead, it costs money. It do, it says that you can spend additional fruit to move more if you wanted to do so. But I just want to make sure that uh, do you have to pay fruit to start off with? Because uh, either I'm getting kiwis back or you're getting rid of kiwis. Re remember, of course, as I say, this is a prototype, so there'll be, you know, rule clarifications. Wherever we've got questions, those will be answered in the final uh, game. And yes, I am just being vindictive because you kicked my bird. That's it. You're, you're never going to forgive me for that, are you? But of course, as, so as soon as you explode my kiwi, you'll be happy and you'll forget all about it. They didn't know about that part. <gasps> oh, oops, oops, spoilers. Um... <laughs> I think I think no actually no I, I I think that the for the card there you go if you want an extra move you must pay the kiwi fruit right yes so you can get you you move freely with the card but if you want to do extra then you that have, means that you, you get to, to one feed freely right no the feed the feeding oh well hang on let's just no so feed so feeding does actually cost well it makes sense doesn't it. You can move freely, yeah, but the, to actually feed, you need to spend fruit. So this actually does say clearly to pay two different colored fruit. All right. So yes, to feed does cost fruit, 
but to move does not cost. If you want to move more, then it does cost. Okay. All right. Right then. So we then go now to the start of round or season two. Let's call it season two. And let's put that just to there. What? Oh, that's we're already out of the first season? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we take these cards. These are now... Oh, so it's once we've two, done three actions, that's when the season is over. Yep. Oh, yeah. I never yes. used my special skill. Darn it. Darn it. So those come out. It's it's going to be a, a, quite a quick, quick game. Uh, let's put those there. And so you need to have a new card. I'll put that just over there. So you're correct. I have... I have two, I need to put three. All right, what is, so this is the reward for season two. And this reward is to have more nests on the board. So if you have more nests, the victor gains one victory point. So it's an instant point for you. Whereas the person who comes second gets a domain marker. I get anything for coming in second last time? Uh, you did actually, yes. So you get you got a fruit. I gave you a fruit, remember? No, uh I've had those fruits for a while. Oh, okay. No, actually, I did that because I picked up a a new marker, but I did your fruit first. Oh. I did. I, I did your fruit. I did your fruit first. Yeah. Oh yes, got you on that one. Um. So, but now, so when we start here, we go. So here we go. So you're now the first player, mm -hmm. and we've discarded all of our action cards. Uh, if we used our leader ability, then we would flip it back right side up. So we didn't do that, but here we go. Each player gains all of the benefits of the nest uncovered in their flock board. So what is the benefit of your particular nest? It is you gain a fruit. Yay. Uh, so on the cave, hang on, you gain one fruit and place one Kiwi token. Oh. All right. Yeah. So this is now what pays off every, at the beginning of each season. Every time, because of that cave, you're going to get that benefit. So let's take a look, see what you have. You have a blue star Kiwi. Sorry, a green, green star Kiwi. And now you are able to place a Kiwi down on the board. Let's put it on the top pink hex. The top pink hex. You're talking about this one just here? Yeah. Yeah. And because you've placed that, you now reveal another bonus. You automatically get a domain marker. Okay, look away. I am looking away. So again, another opportunity for you to score when we get to the end of this season. You good? Okay, got it. Yeah, all right. Yep. There we go. All right. You see, a, a, a season goes pretty quickly, doesn't it? Yeah, it okay. does. Now that I know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so you've kind of got to uh, you've got to use. You've got three cards. Use them to the to the maximum effect. Now remember, so the bonus there's a there's a, a victory point for whoever has the most nests on I, the board. Oh, I get that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, uh -huh. so remember, it's a case of we, what domain markers you have and making sure that by the end of this season, you have that, a hex of that color that matches the conditions where basically you have the most Kiwis so, in, in, in that particular uh, hex. So it's my turn right now. So it's your turn right now. I'm going to have to I'm going to build. You're building. Okay. Uh, you're going to use your build card. All right. Oh, oh, oh. That bottom left hex you just put down, you can pick that up. Or the bottom left domain you just put down. I do believe that's the one you can pick up. What? Sorry, what? what? The little domain token that you just put down. No, no, no. But remember, building is putting nests, not got... Not, not oh, domain yeah. Tokens. The yeah. nests. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So. So you've which, got you've what got, the, is the you've got the tree. So let's just look here. So first of all, you need to spend 
Uh, two yeah. kiwi fruit of, of the same colour. So the blue. You're, you're okay with that. So you're going to use the blue. All right. We'll get rid of those. And let's take a look. So you can either go for the sort of, uh, well, only on, well with the blue you could actually go up to level two on the on the cave if you wanted. What does to. that mean? What does a level two mean? A level two uh, would give, allow you to place. So on a season change, you'd get to place two kiwi token down. On oh, the let's board. put that one down. Yeah. All right. You're, you're yeah. Get rid of that third blue one. Okay. Uh, so. You can put that cave down on... We'll put it next to my other one, on the hex next to it. Yes, because you have at least yeah. two. Am I right to say? At least two Kiwi tokens, and you outnumber other players. So, yep, yeah, there you go. So, what does that do? So, on placing that now, you gain one fruit, and you get to place a Kiwi token. So, let's, uh, let's sort your fruit out first. So, randomly, you get... Oh, you get a red fruit. Okay, there we go. And now you're able oh. to pl place a kiwi down on the board. So... Um... Let's put it with my top pink kiwi. Top pink kiwi. Okay, and what does that reveal? It reveals that... I think you've got a free movement action there. Yay! <laughs> I, I, I think that's the case. Let's just double check. Uh, <coughs> so earn the benefit immediately and move a kiwi. Move an additional kiwi. Yes. So you can move a kiwi right now. But if I use my special ability, I can move up to three. If you okay, so if you want to use that move to you move Scully, your leader, then Scully's um, special ability is move Scully up to three hexes and push up to three Kiwi tokens, size two or smaller, from the square you move to, up to three hexes in any direction. <laughs> well, I don't know if I want to do that yet. So my free movement. Free movement. I'm going to take my little yellow kiwi, who is all by himself. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I, I can work this out. Is that you? <laughs> Do you mean the, the I'm one the on his only own? one on the yellow by the myself, yellow. <laughs> and we're going to move him up one. You're going to move him up one. That is your free movement. There we go. I'm going to put all the purples at the top. <laughs> There we go. All right. I'm being right. very clear. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So you've you've moved him there. You've done your build. That's you done. Over so make me, me speak Kiwi at you. Okay. Uh, your extra card is a movement card. All right. So that's what you've got next. Did I put those there? Hang on a second. There you go. You can you can see what cards you've got. Let's put let's let's put these. Oh, that's clever. Yeah. Let's put those there. You can actually see what you've got. That makes more sense, doesn't it? There we go. So I still think it's weird, though, that you get free movements with a card, but you have to pay to feed on the card. But it, but it's but it, it's kind of obvious, isn't it? If you want to eat, oh, you need, because to, you it's need something for more? to eat. Yeah. yeah, but that's for more movements. Okay. Yes, so yes, if I yes. wanted to do, like, three movements, then I would pay. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Um, right. But you also get to move. It looks like somebody else's, right? Because it says if you pay the two, then you get to move yes. plus maybe push. Yes, or or you can move somebody else's kiwi. Yes, quite right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, it's an or. Okay. Yes. I'm going to right, do. So your turn. I'm going to do a build. No, you're not. I am. I'm going to build. No. I am. And <laughs> that little poor guy. <laughs> He's awesome, isn't he? <laughs> now I... that I know that it is nailed into his forehead. I'm going to. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to. Do... I'm going to put my tree down. And. Oh, hang on. So a hex where you have at least two and where common issue teams outnumber all those other players. Right. So I'm going to have to put my 
I'm gonna put my tree down there. It's gonna cost me two of the same color. These are my two reds. They go in the bag just there. Uh, and on placement of putting my little tree down, I get to draw up a fruit out of the bag. I get a blue. Okay, done. So we have that uh, straight over to you. Okay. Uh, so you can see your card now. So you've got a wild card. Uh, you've got two wild cards, in fact. One will give you four fruit. One will give you a fruit and a, a domain token, or one will allow you to move two separate Kiwis twice, uh, once each. This is what happens, see, Sarah's now being quiet, which means the, the game's clicked with her and she's now working out how to basically, how to win, <laughs> how to win. So the one you said is a wild card plus two move? No, that one's just two movements, three yeah. movements. Okay. So okay. Have, so you have a, 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 two wild cards, one which will give you four fruit, one will give you a fruit and a domain marker. And then the third card is two movements, which of course is for two separate Kiwi. Then that one would get me. F oh. Uh, remember, remember. Okay. Remember, let's on a, go on a with... wild card. You can build if, if that's what you wanted, but you would have to, of course. Well, you, yes, you you have the same color at least once so you could build another oh that's what the wild i thought that meant that i got no i don't No, get... re re remember remember a wild card can either be an ordinary action or you take the bonus of the wild card okay so you know what let's uh... <laughs> oh, i just messed it let's... up for you now uh... <laughs> let's it build it de yeah it depends do you really want to try and get hold of that uh, that extra point. Let's build. You're going to build. So which wild card are you going to use? What? Oh, I thought that the first one. Well, no, but so the second you... one, I get to do an action and then no, 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 put down but... a key? No. Both wild cards, you can either do an action, your action uh -huh. being either move, build, or feed. Uh-huh. Or... You can take the bonus of the of the wild card. Yeah, so that one would be four fruit. So this, so this bonus is four fruit, and this. Oh, see, that's what I thought that I could get fruit, and that's what I was and. Right, and, and that this, one is this one, one fruit. Is one fruit and one domain marker. Yeah, no, no, I think. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> So it's, it depends what's more important to you. And then, hold on. Okay, we're gonna build. I've decided. You're gonna build. Which card are yes. you gonna use? Let's use the middle card. Okay. And we're going to spend, well, we're going to spend the only two I can spend. Yep. So those are spending. And then right. so my nest is going to go up in the... Well, hang on, well, hang on, hang on. So so you've got to choose now. It's either going to be a tree or a control nest. So a tree, on a season change, you're going to gain two fruits. But right now when you place it, you're going to gain one fruit back. Or on a control nest... On a season change, you will gain one fruit and increase the size of a Kiwi token. Uh, but right now, you'd gain a movement. Let's... Oh, that movement would be good. Let's do that one then. The one that allows me to feed a, a bird. 
on the turn. So increase your size, yes, yeah, so the control nest. Okay. Yeah. Where are you placing it? In my pink square up there. Up in the top. All right. So that just well, not my square, under. but my yep. shape. So, so you are now able to move a kiwi. Mm. Okay. Okay. Who, who are you moving? Let's take one of the kiwis in that same area. Yep. And we're going to move it one, two, three. No, you can only move it. No, you can only move it once. With my special ability. Right. Okay. Hang on. So the special ability, right? So using that movement, but it's your leader who's moving. Ah. Uh... It's not a key. It's not the kiwis. It's the leader who goes and does that move. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Go for it. Well, 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 what's the plan? So what we'll move you? him to that pink spot on the left. So you're gonna move. You're gonna move him. So he says, move Scully up to three hexes. So you're just gonna move him once. Yeah. Okay. And then push up to three kiwi tokens, size two or smaller, from the square you move to, up to three hexes in any direction. <laughs> so. Uh, let's push one down below. Uh, are, you, are, you, are you talking about my my uh, yeah. my kiwis? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna push my one guy down down here into my green one. Into the green. Okay. Yeah. All right. And, and then, then we're gonna put your other one. Over into my other green. Over into the other green. Oh, okay. I can see what you're doing. Okay. You can't push. Big no, I can't. Ki Kiwi. He, he's too fat. So, <laughs> so. He's too hefty. He's too hefty. So you've used your special power and you cannot use it now yeah. for the rest of this season. Just okay. for, just for, just for, just make, uh, for anybody watching. I think what Sarah's trying to do is she's used her leader because she's actually looking at the very next card in for the next season. And it's the person who has, there's going to be a penalty on this. Uh, let's just, just double check here. So to have less Kiwi tokens on grass hexes. So automatically I've got two additional Kiwi on, on the grass. Granted, you're going to have to do quite a bit of movement of yours off the grass if you want to score that point. I didn't even know what that card meant. <laughs> okay. What's happening? What should I have been doing? <laughs> uh, uh -oh. Well, you'll, you'll, you'll find... Well, uh, okay. So basically, in the next one is... In the first one, we wanted as many people in the, pla in the fl plants area as possible. But in the next season, it's to have the least amount in the green area. Oh no! Yeah. So you 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 want to do some? If you again, it's all a case of do you really you want to cover the the bonus of that particular card? Sometimes trying to pursue it is kind of not worth it, right? You might be able yeah. to do things better just on what you've got hold of here. Yeah, because all, all you're going to get for the for the winning is you're going to get two domain markers. So it's your turn. All right. Okay, my turn. Uh, look at my cards. I need to draw up another one. Ah. Ah. I am going to. Uh, I'm going to do a build. Can I do a build? I can do a build. Can I? Yes, I can. So I'm going to use two blue Kiwis and I'm going to put my control just there. All right. And I've got to just double check these. Okay. 
And so let's just double check. So what does control do? Uh, control, so gain one movement. I can move something once. I am going to move my little kiwi over there. And I'll uh, draw another card. All right, back over to you. I will take four eggs, four fruit. Oh, so hang on a second. You need to have your additional card. So it's another feed card, but you're going to use your wild card. Yeah, because I can't afford to feed. That's it. That's true. And you want to take four fruit. Okay. I mean, I could have afforded to feed, actually. All right. So here we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. Do the first, first four. So you got a few reds, you got a yellow, a blue, and a green. Put that over there. And all the odd ones. All right, that's you done. Uh, and, oh, sorry, and you need a replacement card. So you've now got a feed and two movement cards. Hopefully that, that works out well for your uh, in the next season. All right, what do I want to do? Um, I'm going to I'm going to use a movement card I can move two, two kiwis so I'm going to move that little dude just in there I'm gonna move this dude into there, <laughs> and because he's he's a level three, he gets to push push two of your kiwis, doesn't he? <laughs> uh, yeah, may push up to, up to two. So I'm gonna push one of your kiwis into that green, and one of your kiwis into that green there. Okay, <laughs> uh, that's me done. Uh, draw up another card. Okay, done. So we get to the season card resolution. All right. So we take a look here, and it is a case of who has the most uh, the most nests on the board. Well, me. you do. Absolutely. You've got three nests. I've got two. So you get one victory point. One victory point in the bank. That's pretty good. So we'll put that card just oh, there. Oh, Roger, you're laughing for him right now, but you just wait. All right. I get to have a domain marker. So. And then we'll see who's laughing. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's what I've got. Right. Fine. I fine, fine. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Right, okay, uh, so let's just move that across there. So that's where we are, so we've just done the seasonal, so we then go to the domain marking, and it starts with you, okay? So- Bottom left domain marker. Bottom left, that one just here, I'm just gonna show the camera so you can double check. Yep. Okay. Looking, so you're going to put this domain marker on green. Uh, I'm assuming. Well, well, like, I'm not going to assume. You, you, t you tell me. Where do you I mean, want? I'm guessing that the best place to put it would be the one that I have all of those people on. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, so you, it, again, choose a hex without a domain marker, where a combination of your kiwi tokens and control nests outnumber those of other players. Do I so get a it, point for it no matter what? It could go here or it could go here. It's absolutely fine. In fact, here we go, here we go. Knowing that you don't want to have Kiwis on green in this next season, if you put it here, that Kiwi disappears. It becomes part of this and doesn't count anymore. So you'd be one step closer or 
So you'd, you'd automatically get rid of one, or you could take one off here and make it slightly easier to try and clear this out. But remember, you're always going to have one because of your nest. Because your nest counts as one, doesn't it? Does the nest get on top of it? No, because a kiwi no. has to be flipped. Um, yes. <laughs> you can't put a nest on. <laughs> I guess you could just put it up top there. Put it up top. All right. So that goes there. And yeah, why not? We place that just there. All right. So right now, scoring wise, you've got two, you've got three points, and I've got one point. Let's see. Can I place a kiwi down? And. Uh, I think I can. I'm good. Oh, okay, here we go. So, choose a hex with, without a domain marker, and I have more kiwi on that hex than my opponent. So I'm going to go here. I've got the mountain, and I'm going to use... Now... You don't necessarily have to take, as far as I'm aware, you don't have to take a kiwi from the hex that you put that down. I can use, it. typically you would use a kiwi in reserve, and if you do not have it in reserve, you take it from the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this kiwi and place it just there. All right. That does our placing of domain markers. First player comes over here. We reset this. No, no. We also have to do all of the um, seasonal bonuses for our nests. Uh, no, that's what we do now. So we're now starting the new, the okay. new round, the new season. Okay. So your card gets flipped. We clear off all of these. They go into your discard as do all of mine. Ooh. All right, into the discard, done. So, the condition on this season is to have the least number of Kiwis in green hexes. Uh, to win, uh, the winner gets two domain tokens. The second sort of prize is where is it where is it is uh oh it has it's changed slightly i think this is i'm just going to look at the key for a second so this is going to be food no it's not food it's i i think it's gain a kiwi put a kiwi down I'm going to go with that because it's instantaneous, it's plus one, and it's a kiwi. So, so as second place, you get to put a kiwi down. That's actually pretty good, in fact. Might be better than the uh, than even the reward, but there we go. Uh, okay, so then we start the season. And now, starting with first player, uh, we get to take advantage of our nests. Let's just go and take a look. So what do I have? I have the tree. So I gain two fruit. Let's do that. So in the bag, two fruit. Oh, three. So two of those. And increase the size of a kiwi. <gasps> oh, okay. Who wants to be big? Big, big kiwi. Uh, and because he's increased and revealed, I get to have another fruit. So we get a blue. Oh, we've got loads of blues. And then the control. Oh, that was control, sorry. So the tree is I gain two fruits. I thought you did that one already. Did I? Did I get, pick up two first off? So in that case, then it's just I gain one. There we go. Oh, another one of same kind. I'm getting so many. Right. So for you now, your control is you gain one fruit. So do that. You get a blue. You then increase the size of a kiwi. 
So which Kiwi do you want to uh, to increase? Hey, Rogue, remember how you laughed? <laughs> Go on, do it. Uh, no, it, it, it's your no, it's your kiwi that you increase. What? It's yeah, oh yeah, it's not, it's not mine. You've got to feed. Uh, you got flip to feed the table. mine. You got to flip feed it. mine. But for this is this is for you getting one of yours. Flip it. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Ruin everything. <laughs> no, it still doesn't. You've got you've got to feed, feed one of my pink card. birds up top. Feed one of your pink birds. All right. So that goes there, and you instantly gain a fruit. Uh, you get another blue. All right. Excellent. So that did the control. The cave, you gain a fruit and get to place down a kiwi. All right. Okay. We're getting there. So another, you get a red, and now you're able to place down this kiwi. So where are you going to put this kiwi? Put it in the left pink with my s scully. Scully, all right. That goes in there. And now, instantly, you're able to move. Let's move. I like how um, the, the momentum one of my builds up. Middle green kiwis. Yes. We're going to move it down to be with the yellow. So we're going to move him down to there. All right, done. And then. <laughs> Uh, your cave level two, you get to place two Kiwi tokens. Well, you've only got one Kiwi left. So you get to place this guy out on the board. Where do you want him? Uh, let's put him in the top right purple top right purple in there and that has revealed a domain marker so let's go with one of these okay are you looking yes okay all right done Whew. okay right Right, right, right. So, starting with me. So, ultimately, I don't want anybody in greens, but I want to. You have to put you. We never got to put down our domain tokens. We did. Oh yeah, we did. We did. We never did. mind. Yes, we're done. We're done on that. We just didn't put it where I initially was thinking. I was putting it in my mind. So never mind. Never mind. Okay. Move along. Uh, Nothing to see here. <laughs> all right. So move We're on to the action phase. Ha. Huh. See. I've just suddenly realized the benefits of... Because we're, we're near the end of the game now, and you've got loads of domain markers. You've got loads of choice of getting lots of points at the end. I'm, I'm quite limited. Because remember, in this round, by the time we get to the end, we can put down a potentially another point. But in the fourth round, we can put down as many tokens as we've got, so long as we meet conditions. And I've got no tokens. I feel like I need to get some tokens. Ah. Oh. It all went downhill for you when I got quiet, man. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. no, I know, I know that you, you're, you're, <laughs> you're working it out. You're working it out, and I... Oh, oh okay. Hmm, hmm. What do I want? Right, okay, I, I am going to... I'm going to... How much fruit have I got? I've got lots of fruit. In fact, actually, it's worked out quite nicely. I've got fruit all of the same colours near enough. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, 
Don't worry, Roger. You're still going to get to use that laugh. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so hang on a second. To build, I need at least two Kiwis. Oh, gosh. Gosh, 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 gosh. All my little dudes are all clumped up. Um, oh, here we go. Oh, oh, okay. Here we go. I'm going to use... I'm going to use a wild card. I'm going to use it as a movement. And I'm going to use the movement of... Well, I'll use my leader, Chopin. Uh, Chopin moves up to four hexes in a straight line and pushes all Kiwi tokens on all hexes Chopin moves through, except the starting and ending hex. So, Chopin. Eek, eek, eek. <laughs> That's how they sound. He's going to move all the way there. So basically, I don't move anything on this hex, but I move stuff on this hex, and I move stuff on this hex. So I'll, I'll just tap that so we know that he's been used. I'm going to move that one into there. He'll do things in there, even though he's on it. it no, he, he doesn't move anything in here. No, no, right. no, no, no. I'm saying, does he hinder what I can do? Oh, no. He, but he just okay. he just counts as a level three um, Kiwi. He just counts as a fat Kiwi. Okay. A big, big, fat boss Kiwi. Yes. So I've moved one dude across here. All right. So that's done there. This is the one that I'm going to deal with now. I get to move everything out of that hex. So I am going to... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, gonna, I'm being mean, but I'm going to move that and that over there. And ultimately... Yeah, I'm going to move all of these dudes into here. All right. Now, so if it was pushing it out of the way, would those be able to go in that straight line? Uh, yeah, you can. You can. Okay. You can move it to any hex. So basically, okay. uh, push all Kiwi tokens on all hexes. Chopin move through. Right. So remember, they were here. It's it, you don't have mm -hmm. to push them to the sides. You can push them so long as it's away okay. from the where they started. All right. Uh, that's me done. Over to you. I want to feed a kiwi. Do you now? So I do. You, you do. You feel that this needs to be done. So yeah, I'll, I'll give up a blue and a red. A blue and a red. Blue You're ready, Roger. Get ready. Uh, hang on. Does, I think feeding needs to be the same color. Let's just double check. I'm no, it feed. said not same. Is it not same? Two different yeah, colors. Yes, quite yeah. right. Quite right. See, I'm glad you know. I've been okay. waiting like five turns for this. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm prepared. I, I, there are certain rules I remember in a game. <laughs> this is it. You've, you've been waiting for this one, haven't you? So basically... I think uh, I've picked it up pretty good. Oh, yeah. No, you've done, you've done really Chat good. Might, might differ, but I think I've picked it up pretty well. <laughs> so here we go. So you're feeding... Oh, I see. All this I, is, need, this all is I need is ridiculously cute game... Um, visuals and I'm set and this game has it so we're good to go yes so there's a limit for kiwi growth if a size free kiwi is fed it explodes its <laughs> players should take the tokens and place them into the kiwi reserve so boom pop <laughs> okay are we ready <laughs> <laughs> all right so so you get actually that, that that's a really good move because you now get two Domain markers. Oh, you! Oh, gosh. oh, oh, gosh! You're 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 paving your way. Oh, for that's victory right, here. because I fed you. Fed, fed me, yes, yes. Oh yeah, show me what they're looking like. Okay, here but we don't go. you look? I'm not looking. I'm not looking. 
Can you see? Okay. All right. Close down just there. Look! Look at the options you've got on 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 season four. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. Yes, Roger, that's exactly the case. You owe, but you can <laughs> you, you you deliberately. It's good to have. A big kiwi, because a big kiwi can push other kiwis out of the way. But if you get up to a level three, well then, that being the case, yes, you can push smaller kiwi around, but the opponent can actually feed your kiwi and make it explode, <laughs> which which is which is is fantastic. The 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 imagery is amazing. <laughs> I'm just going to shuffle up your cards because you need a fresh card now. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right. So you get a wild card. Uh, your wild card. Uh, what's that? And is either an action or you can gain one fruit plus one kiwi token and increase the size of a kiwi. All right. Blade Mark, exploding kiwis. What are we playing tonight? We're playing the game of kiwis, and he decided to be a bully, so I blew him up. I'm, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. You kicked my birds like a lot. You Hello. have kicked a lot of my birds. I've kicked a lot of your birds. Hello, Blade Mark. Yes, we are playing Kiwi Chowdown. Uh, this game is currently on Kickstarter. If you wanted to check it out, it is exclamation KS underscore Kiwi Chowdown. Uh, it is, well, it's delightful. It really is, and, and very, very comical. Car art is amazing. All right, so over to me. Oh, I've got exploding kiwis. Uh, I, I cannot unsee that now. Uh... <laughs> Everyone, give him a minute. He needs to clean up. <laughs> um. You get kiwi guts, and you get kiwi guts. Ew. I'm going to I'm going to use my wild card and I'm going to use it for the special ability of getting a fruit and a domain marker. So, into the pink bag. Get a fruit. Get a red one, okay? And into the blue bag. Get a domain marker. What we got? Ooh, okay. We've got a little bit more choice. Uh, that's me done. Over to you. I'm going to do one of my movement cards. Okay. And take two of my kiwis that are in the center green. This one and here, And move yes. them down to the yellow. To the yellow. All right. So, boop, boop. All right. Nice and easy. And your replacement card is your wild card, where you get four fruit as the bonus. Um, hmm, okay, okay. I am going to do a, a build action. Can I do that? Yes, I can. And let's just look at the buildings, just to check. I'm going to spend, so it's free of the same color. I'm going to put down a level three control nest. I'm just going to put it in there. I did the wrong thing. And so what this does is I gain a domain marker right now. Have I got done the right one? Oh. Huh. 
I'm just gonna, because I've been using the yeah I'm because I've been using what's in the book. I'm going to fo follow that. So I uh, so on a level two, I gain a domain marker, and on season change, would gain a domain marker. So let's get another domain marker. As I say, remember this is a prototype version of the game, so there will be some slight rule changes uh, as we. Uh, as the game sort of is obviously uh, refined before its uh, actual release. Uh, so things might slightly differ from what's on this video to what actually the finished game uh, has to offer. Right. Oh, that, it's that super messed up. You messed up, you think? Yeah, I should have moved up instead of down, but that's okay. We'll All right. work with it. Okay. Over to you then. Um, What are the, the benefits of the nest you just built oh you get you get a domain and then you get one yes. later yeah um and that first top one is just eggs right first, first top one yeah the tree uh the tree um you'll gain fruits what do you mean eggs where's eggs yeah come i keep from? calling them eggs they're shaped <laughs> like eggs everyone leave me alone the fruit um <laughs> It's been an off day. I'm calling their <laughs> eggs, okay? Um, let's go ahead and use the wild card in the middle. Yes. And we're going to build. We'll okay. use two reds. Two reds. And we're going to build that tree. The tree, yeah. Where are you putting your tree? In that yellow with my whole swarm of birds swarm, in it. You swarm, you swarm. Okay, so the tree's in there, so you gain a fruit. And you're going to gain two fruits at the end of the uh, season. And uh, you get a blue. So, in fact, you've got two blues of the same color there. I'm just going to put your, your like colors together, make it a bit easier. I'm not sure, Blade Mark. I am not sure. That's exactly what I thought, Blade Mark, yes. Yes, there's a lot of cannibalism going on here. Uh, but it's not, though. They're eating the fruit, not each other. I, They're just murdering each other. Just and murdering being mean <laughs> to each other. Yeah. All right, so we get to the end of the action phase. Let's uh, just go back here. So we move the token, and we then look at uh, the season card resolution. So basically, who's got the least amount of Kiwis in green. Uh, that, I guess that's going to be me, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, this is interesting. This is interesting. I wonder... I, th I, th I think I'm going to... I'm going to go out on a... Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here because, again, the, the, the cards pictorially with their little icons they tell you everything you need to do so this is i can use this immediately i gain a oh well actually do they all have no actually i just i just gain two don't i it's not yeah it's not placing them down sorry i was gonna i was gonna get confused there and make rules up uh so i get two domain markers so let's grab those Why aren't your domain markers being shown on camera? Because I don't want you to see them. Remember, they're, they're You secret. don't want to see. You don't want me to see how many you have. Oh, oh, well, well I, I need to be. I, I'm seeing. I've got them flipped up so I can see what they are. Oh, okay. See. I, I can. I, I'll tell you that I have six, and you have oh. six now. Yeah. Um. So, so I've got. I've got this. Uh, I, I've got the domain markers. You, you get to place a kiwi down on the board well you've not got any kiwi there's none in your reserve so that being the case it kind of just you just it fizzles you don't out get to move one no it's not it's not a move it's a place oh so unfortunately not uh so that does that uh right so starting with me then can i put down a domain marker uh onto the board somewhere 
And ultimately, so long as I've got dominance, I can put it down. Well, I got one little dude all on his little own. I thought so. that you had to have at least two, or is that for no, a nest? That's for a nest. But for domain, okay. you, you just have to have the most in that hex. So him just being on his lonesome is enough to, to quanti qualify for it. So we're going to stick that there and uh, put that in just there. All right. So now it's up to you. Okay, will you close your eyes? I'm closing my eyes. And hold and hold up my <laughs> and hold up my uh the first two are fine. The ones closest to my my fruit, I don't need those. It's those last right, couple okay. ones that Okay, so here you go. If you just tell me what hand Nope. No. Neither hand. Neither hand. Left hand. This hand. Yes. Just in case I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. I mean, left. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. hey, Zen for one. Hello, Zen. How are you? Um, we'll, 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 we'll come back to you just in one second, Zen. So where do you want to place this? I assume you want it right at the top. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and do you want to use that particular kiwi for it, or do you want to use a sure. different one? Sure. Yeah, sure. Oh, I can use a different one, can't I, I? I believe so, yes. So it might be strategically better to, to move another kiwi. Yeah, but no, because then that puts that kiwi out of commission. So let's just turn that one out of commission. Yeah, all right. So he's yeah. out of commission. He's up there. It's another point scored. Uh, yeah, Zen, this is Kiwi Chowdown. It's currently on Kickstarter. Um, I like Kiwi it, blow up. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's a beautiful, beautiful art. Lovely little comical miniatures, uh, which will be a joy to paint up. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. I I already have some thoughts about it. Uh, so hang on for this final Come season. Come on, we got one final season. <laughs> exactly. Yes, we we can do this. We can do this. So uh, we've played our uh, markers right. So here's the important point. So let's we reset this. What are we looking for here? Oh my goodness, what's this mean? What's this mean? It is the person who has the most level two or greater Kiwis. All right. That is uh, the condition. And that being the case, you would get a free build action. But actually, that's not really... I don't know if that's much benefit here and there. Okay. But now, so as we start this new season, we need to now pay off all these uh, all these buildings. Oh, my goodness me. Let's do... Well, you're first player. And we clear up cards. So there's your discard. And we'll replen your card yeah, there. Can you, before we do this right quick... What's that? At Sorry? the end of the game, how do we score points? Okay, give me two seconds. Because that's going to kind of determine in what influence. I... Yes, 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 yes. So I've reset that. Okay. Basically, when we get to the end, so we, the game just follows the same sort of process on each round, apart from the final season. So when we move this token to the very last section, where we normally put our domain tokens down... Yes, that is us scoring points. And typically... The domains, the domains get a point. To do each, to, we've only been able to put down one token and hence gain one point. In this final round, we are able to put down as many tokens that we have and that we have the conditions on the board to allow for. All right. Okay, but at the end of the game, is that all that gets us points? Yep. You've got an extra one because of the card that you have. All right. So fruit? But there's no points of fruit. There's no points for the number of kiwis you've got. Um, okay. It is purely... Only domain on the board. Yes. Okay. That's it. All right. So what you want to do now in this final season is move your kiwis around. You probably don't even want to consider that anymore. Move your kiwis around so that you are able to meet the conditions of your domain tokens so that you can put down as many as possible. That's really all you want to consider now. All right. 
So, before we do that, I need to sort out all the rewards. So... Ha! I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump from board to board, but going through what is. So, the tree, you get two fruits. Two fruits! So, you get two blues. I have a tree as well. I get two fruits. Fruity, fruity. Uh, the control is gain one fruit and increase the size of a kiwi. So there's your one fruit. Uh, because you've got no kiwis in reserve, you have to take a kiwi to put it on top of another kiwi. So tell me which one you want to increase. Tell me where you want to take one of your kiwis from. The left green kiwi that's that's little next to the big guy yeah him here yeah yeah got it and we'll make one of the kiwis in the other green space big okay so he's now a two all right i've got exactly the same so i i take a kiwi fruit but i have kiwis in reserve i don't take them off my flock i take them from reserve first and i am going to move Ooh. I'm going to put him there. All right, done. Uh, you've got the cave. So you gain a fruit. So you got another blue. And you get to place a kiwi token. Well, you've got none, so you kind of skip that. I don't have that cave. So now you go down to cave number two, where you get to place two kiwi tokens. But again... You haven't got that. So you skip it. I go to control two and I get to gain a domain marker. So I go into the blue bag and grab a token. Got it. All right, done. Ah, interesting. All right, I believe we are all set and ready. You have your free cards. You have your leader reprimed. We go to actions. Over to you. And remember, you can use fruit to move. So, yeah. Uh, so yes, for your movement, just so you're aware, it's a yellow and a blue. So there's the yellow. It's sorry, it's yellow and green. Uh, I'm going to put those to one side over here so that you know. Those are your movement type ones, and here's all your. There's the blues. All right. So these ones can do movements. In fact, actually, you've got what you've got one set there that can do an extra movement. Let's let's do that. And in fact, I'll do the same on mine. In fact, I can't. I do not have the right colours to be able to do extra movement. That's a bit. Ooh, that's, that's a bit frustrating. So we are going to take two of the kiwis in that yellow space that's full of all of my kiwis. And since I can only move them each one space and I can't move one twice, I'm going to move them to the purple with your domain. Sorry, you're just going to have to just... Repeat that again. I was sorry, I was just looking at the oh. chat there. Just just before, just just one second. Ruben on YouTube has just said that the second cave also counts as one victory point at the very end. So my goodness, Sarah, you've got an additional point. You've got two additional points because you built that cave. Thank you, Ruben. That's oh. actually really helpful. <laughs> All right then. So with that news, we're not going to do that card. We're going to build. You're going to build... Well, you've already got the cave. You've already built it. So... so oh, I you, thought that all level twos got an no, extra point. No, 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 no. The, the cave... This oh, cave it has here, a little crown. It has okay. a little crown. That's it. Yeah, you've actually got an additional 
victory point. My goodness. So yes, so you've got three points in domains plus the cave, which is four. Okay, then we're going to go along. You're at five points at the moment. We're going to go along with what I said then originally. So we're right. going to take so, two of my little kiwis in the yellow. Well, hang on. Tell, so what card are you doing? Are you doing a movement or? Yeah, the movement. Right, okay. So you're doing your movement card. All right, let's put that just under there. All right, done. So you're going to take... So you said kiwis in the yellow. So is it this one just here? Yeah. We're just going to move it over to the... The purple... So you mean you want to move move down to the purple? No, I want to move over. I'm sorry, I'm I'm confused now. Right. We're trying to get to the right. We're trying to get to the right. So, we, we, which which kiwis, which kiwis are you moving? Tell to, to, to start again. Because I can't move one kiwi twice, correct? That's correct. So it's got to be two separate ones. So we're gonna take have to take two separate ones. So we're right. gonna move them over to the right in the little purple area. Right, but which kiwis are you yellow moving? Area. Two of the kiwis from the yellow area. Yeah. To the purple area. Over to the, to the where, where my red token is. Yes. Right. Okay. So you're gonna move one, two. Let's just double check, make sure that's correct. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. That's no, fine. It's fine. We're getting there. Uh, remember, Our of course. <laughs> yeah, well, we are, we are, we are. But remember, you, you, you can't put you can't put a domain token down where I already have one, and vice versa. Yeah. Monkey. Yes. Just play the game. Okay, okay. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. I have plans. You have a plan. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, oh, beans. Okay. Right. Um, it's, they just have to get to their destination. All right. All right. Okay. There's a plan. There is a. There's always a plan. Uh, okay, so that's good. I mean, not always, but with this game, yes! <laughs> that's good there. I know in your mind what I did does not make sense. No, but no, it it's, does. it's, it's, it's no. okay. There's, there's lots of instances where things don't make sense and actually work out really well. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do movement. I think it's all about moving in this final season, isn't it? I'm going to move... I'm going to move one dude into there. I'm going to move one dude into there. All right, that's me done. Over to you. Can I need another card? Oh, sorry, I do apologize. Uh, your card is a feed, a feed me card. You got any threes on there? No, there's no there's no threes. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're staying at a very co comfortable two. <laughs> so we're gonna do a movement. So you are you gonna use your wild card to act as movement? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Goes in there. All right. Okay. Who are you moving? Well, I think what we're going to do is use my um, special ability. Oh, you can use Scully. Okay. So you can move up Which to means three I can hexes. move up to three spaces and then yep. I can kick out um, up to two, correct? Uh, move up and pu push up to three Kiwis oh, okay. of, of size two or smaller. From the square that you move to, so where you land, up to three hexes. To an adjacent, it... yeah. So, on my very top pink, I have three birds up there. Let's take one of my little kiwis, because even though he's little, he'll still have power. And we're going to move him into the same square or hex that we moved into last time that made you question life. Hang on, hang on, hang on remember, hang on. Scully's th that that power is it's Scully who has to move. Okay, that's fine then. We're gonna move him into that same purple area. So he's gonna move up to three. So he's gonna go one, 
two. Okay. And he can then move up to three. Those two little purples over yeah. to that green. As in this green over here. The one on the right hand side that we've been trying to get to the whole game, yes. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah, no, that's that's fine. So you're you're pushing those those over there. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yes, 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 yes. That's exactly it. All right. Very good. Right. Okay. Done. So you've used on... his his special power. Yeah. You want to give me another card so I can plan yes. ahead? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, you get a wild yeah. card. Wild card. Um, ooh, I don't know if I like you doing that. Yeah, I actually... Because you see, yeah, you've taken dominance. Remember, this is where, even though I'm a, I'm a level two, you've now got two Kiwis in there. That's no fun. Now, now, what can I, well, oh, oh. Sorry, sir, I'm gonna have to do it. I am going to play my movement card. So I can move two separate Kiwis. <laughs> I'm going to move this level two into the green, which pushes, remember, level two can push a level one. And I can do this twice. I'm going to push these two guys off the board. So they end up in your reserve. He goes there. And then I'm going to move this level two up the other way and push this guy off the board. Those are my two, uh, my two moves. Over to you. Poor Kiwi, says Ruben. Yes, yes. I think it gets a little bit cutthroat at the end, doesn't it? Are you, are you plotting, Sarah? Mm. Yes. <laughs> Let's um, build. Oh, okay. Um, the middle, bottom middle. We'll get through, rid of three blues. You're going to get rid of three blues. All right. And we will do the bottom middle because that'll give me another domain uh, card, right? It, yes, it does. Yes. Hang on a second. And we can just build that in that top left pink. Top left. Yes. Okay. So that gets you a domain token. In fact, actually, oh, you're going to, oh no, yeah, you'll get, you'll get this one here and now. All right, you ready? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, not helpful, but okay. All right, okay, okay. Uh, right, so my final card. Yeah. See, I'm, I, I can't get, I can't build the cave, so I'm, I'm a bit, yeah. There's nothing I can do. Do I? Is there any benefit? See, Chopin can only move down here, which ultimately <laughs> would just be moving all my guys. Which doesn't help. No. 
Uh, there is so, so you what you can do is if you don't want to play a card. Yeah, you play a card and basically put it face down, and you'd end up drawing a fruit up. Um, there's oh, hang, Ashley, hang on a second, hang on a second. I can do it. I'm going to do a feed. I'm going to do a feed. So I'll use the two. Oh, hang on. No, I've got the wrong colours. No, I can't even do that. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? What? I went. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Yeah. No. There's 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 nothing I can, I can do. There's nothing I can do that that is going to gain any more advantage. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. I I think that's actually probably a good place for me to sort of finish. Right. Okay. So here we go. So. We're taking a look here, and it's the person who's got the most level two. Uh, so, in fact, we're a draw, aren't we? Yes, we are. Oh no, no, we're not. No, no, no I can't no. tell. No, you, you, you have your your four against my my three. So you get a free build action. Uh, you have a final one that you could build. You've got three of the same colour. So you could get the tree, a level two tree down. Um, so you would gain two fruits and increase the size of one of your kiwis. Is that going to help? Not really, I don't even think I can't put the nest down anywhere anyways. Uh, you could put it... Oh, no, you need two... two. Two in a location that doesn't have. Yeah, you're quite right. You could you couldn't put it down. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't really aid you in, in this matter. So, no, it doesn't. So that's gone. Okay, done. Right. So let's just go to the right part of the board. Okay, so during the fourth and last domain. You might month, win. <laughs> No, no, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Here we go. So during the fourth and last domain marking phase, each player reveals the domain markers they kept and places as many as they can on the map. So we can turn over your uh, your markings. And we can just work this through. Oh, right, okay. So, in fact, I told you it's quite a... Quite, uh, quite, uh, there we go. Right. Took that green away from me. Did I take this right? Okay. So, where? Well, shall we just go through this? So you can effectively. My two pinks down. You can put your two pinks down. Yes. So I'll put a pink here. Because that's correct. And you can put a pink up at the top here. That's done. You can do one green. You can do your one green. Yeah, yeah. Oop. And one yellow. Green in there. And you can do one yellow. There we go. Put yellow in there. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, I lose out on those last two. Yeah. Um, yes. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, plus one because of your cave, seven, plus one because of your card, eight. You've got eight points. I got nine points. Nine? Why, why nine? So I got seven on the board. Yeah. And then plus one. And then one, one for my cave makes did, eight. What, oh, did I? Sorry, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. I do apologize. I yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. I think you skipped one of my ones on the board. Yes, yeah. So you got nine points. What have I got? One. You're about two, to be able to put down like all of your things. Three. <laughs> I've well hang on, I've I've got three points. Yeah, but you haven't put yours down yet. Alright. Let's see what I can do then. Four, five, six. Well, well I, I, seven. Don't, I, don't, I don't I don't know about that. So I can put one down. In blue, so I've got three, so that's four. 
I can do one in yellow. That's five. I can do another yellow. That's six. I can do a pink. That's seven. I can do a green. That's eight. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Oh, it's your, it's that cave. It's the cave. <laughs> <laughs> or it's that card. Or it's the card. Yeah. In fact, it's, yes, it, it, yeah, it would be, the, it would be the card. Oh my goodness. So close. So, so and close. And so we celebrate with our Kiwi sounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, well, there we go. So we, we're, we're at, that's the end of the game and it's nine points to Sarah. Eight points to the monkey. What do you think? And you know what? This is a very good game for us because no matter who wins, the other person is going to come in probably very close. I f <laughs> well, well, this is it. It's, so it's so it, it's not a game about massive uh, numbers of points. It's not. Um, and you are really you're, you're scoring small amounts as you go through the game right until the end. Um, and yes, you are definitely trying to manipulate where you're moving your little birds so that you do get that maximum scoring uh, opportunity. Um, but So what do you think? Do you enjoy it? Like, we'll play again. Oh, right, okay, okay. Because, yes, it, it's a different game. We haven't played this style of game. Uh, well, we, we kind of have. If you, if you sort of... Yeah. If you think about it, um, because it's area control... This is very similar to the Nantinarkin game that we played. Kind of. Yeah. But not it, really. It, it, it's, it, it's the same, but it's different. It's the same, <laughs> yes, but yes, different. Yes. Yeah. It's the, some of the mechanics are the same, but of course it's got a different feel. It's got different uh, b bonuses. Uh, we only exploded one kiwi. But what you're going to see different. is different. <laughs> <laughs> So, Roger, you're saying you thought it was interesting. You like the colors and the graphics. Yes. Um, I feel that we had missed opportunities to have more bird mess, but we didn't. We were, we were, we were quite we were quite polite, wasn't we? We didn't... Um, there, was a, there was a little bit of nudging of Kiwis, and I think when we played again... You were nudging. I, I think, well, you know, like with any, any game we play, the second time we play, we, we, we'll feel comfortable about playing this game again, won't we? And we'll, uh, we'll probably be a little bit more, um, a little bit more dominant about uh, how we progress around the board um, because we, we hardly know, used was, our leaders. I, I thought I was. <laughs> I was trying to be, well, be I, clever I, with stuff. I pushed a couple of your guys off the board a couple of times, uh, but I only yeah, used my, my leader once. Yeah, but you don't always have to be. You don't always have to be the push around bully though to win. And, no, this is true. This is true. I like it. I like it a lot. It's uh, case it's... in point that time that I wasn't really a bully but still won. What like today? <laughs> yeah, it was this. It was this time. <laughs> it was this time. <laughs> it was. It was this game. <laughs> it, was, it was this game. I like it. It's cute. The animation on it or the pictures are just worth the entire game. The build card, he has the board nailed to his head. They are special stupid birds, and I like it. Yes, yes. Now, Do you want to just play a game of special stupid birds? Well, have I got the game for you. <laughs> so so I, I believe that this is the third in a trilogy, the, the Avian trilogy. Um, so ah. they, they started off with, I think it's called The War for Chicken Island. And then after that, it was Dodo's Riding Dinos. And of course, this is now <laughs> Kiwi Chowdown. Um, I like it. It's, I it's, like it. It's really nice. Uh, again, I want to paint the figures. <laughs> yeah, yes, there's a definite, um, a really good sense of humor uh, to all of the games they seem to be producing. And, and this one, yeah, lovely card art. Wait, the, who the makes miniatures. this game? Uh, it is, I think, I believe it's two uh, companies. So it, it's uh, Draco Games and Detest. Oh, Dr sorry, it's Draco Studios and Detestable. Is it Detestable Games? I hope I'm getting that right. 
Right, so uh, Zenful one, area control, like Scythe, Whichever, small world. whichever yes. one is in control of the game, if you have a copy that, that gets thrown on the floor or just kind of crunkled up and you're like, oh, we can't send that out. You can, just send it to me. I'll love it. <laughs> or if you're like, oh no, we made this many games, but we made extra figures, whatever shall we do? I guess we'll have to throw them out. Don't, just send them to me. I'll adopt them. You're going to adopt, <laughs> adopt some figures, eh? I'll adopt the silly birds. Yes, they're, they're, de they're definitely right up your street, aren't they, eh? Yes, very, very cute birds. I mean, I even got the one with the skull, so. Yes, but I'm going to have to say goodbye for the night. I am getting a family member phone call. Okay, well, thank you very much for playing. Uh, thank good... you for letting me play. All right, see you next time. <gasps> Bye! Okay then, so there we go. Our thanks to Sarah for playing tonight's game of Kiwi Chowdown from Draco Studios and Detestable Games. I hope I am getting that right. I can't see the logo under the, under the graphic. <laughs> uh, that was a lot of fun, so be sure to check out the Kickstarter campaign. It uh, still has plenty of time running. Uh, exclamation uh, KS underscore Kiwi Chowdown. In fact, there we go. The uh, the link is uh, in the chat just there. Go and take a look. Uh, it's a lovely game. Really is. Lots of fun. So, what will we be playing next week? Uh, maybe you need to uh, take a look at our social media tomorrow. There'll be a teaser. Uh, but until next... Uh, Monday, in fact, where we start doing some painting. I wish you all a really happy weekend, and uh, we'll see you then. But until then, bye for now. <laughs>